What's up everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button just down below this video. I would love to have you. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it when you do. And leave me a comment down below if you have time. So today I have a interesting overview to do for everyone. But first we can check out what I am messing around with tonight starting us off is the jaeger m brian brown this has a full length zirku tie backspacer and clip i do have some black titanium hardware coming for it and i'm hoping to get some zirconium collars or zirku tie collars probably going to be the zirconium though then we have the awesome Tuya NV4 in S90V. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous, I'm telling you guys. If you're looking for a thumb stud, titanium frame lock, Warncliffe uh, with amazing action. And just, this is amazing. Every day, uh, <laughs> It, it, it's just surprising how well this knife is done. Uh, he could easily get 100 to $150 more for this knife than he's charging. Easily, I could see this being like a $350 knife. Easy. Uh, and it's not. It's not anywhere close to that. So the 2 yen V4 is, it's, it's ridiculous how good it is. And then we have another Brian Brown. This is the Raptor, the version 2. I have some Mokutai, I believe it is, coming for this. I have a Mokutai clip coming for it. Uh, I can't remember if I ordered. I'm going to eventually get the collars and the backspacer as well. But I figured start off with the clip for sure. I love this knife. It's so comfortable, so well done. The Raptor is awesome. This is the DLT exclusive. If you like a modified like drop point Bowie, this is, and it's got a nice little spoon in there for you to put your thumb. <laughs> I love this knife as well. And the last one, the uh, MBK Old Guard Monterey Bay Knives Old Guard. This is in Sami ZDP 189 Rock Weld between 66 and 67. This thing is a machine and it's so comfortable too. Very reminiscent of the Tuya there. Uh, I have a little bit more I want to do to this guy, and it will be ready to roll. It's already smooth, hydraulic, very nice. So that is what we had in the pocket today. We will set them off to the side. I am trying out a new angle. I am at a different view of my light i switch sides to the table what is that causing oh, that's gonna bug me so i just kind of got stuff situated so yes what is this this is the kershaw luca lucha Balasong or butterfly knife. So haven't I've only ever had one of these. Period. Uh, I am definitely not a Balasong flipper, especially not under this camera. Uh, I have been trying to mess with it and kind of learn the ways, but I have a long, long way to go in order to even remotely be called a beginner. Uh, 
I just always wanted a good one. I've had, you know, a shitty one before back in, you know, back in the day, you know, fell apart probably within like two weeks. Uh, but I wanted a good one, you know, and this will probably be the only one I ever get. Uh, but this is, <laughs> this thing is freaking awesome. Uh, you can lock the handle up like so, and you have yourself a massive blade and handle here. I mean, you could really get some work done with this thing if need be. So let's get some specs on it real quickly. Uh, let's see here. So for the blade, you're, you're getting a four and a quarter cutting inch, just a smidge over actually. And your full blade length to the scale there is at four and a half. And then total length, you're coming all the way down to ten and a quarter. So this is a big boy. Um, it makes my hands look small, and they're not. Uh, this thing is freaking massive. But... Uh, We'll go over, so you're getting 14C28N on the blade steel here. You have a drop point style blade, which is the one I opted for. They have, I think, Tantos and a few other variations that you can get. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh it just for... So we can say that we did. It's pretty heavy. It's not crazy heavy. So it's almost six ounces. So it's a pretty, you know, for as big as it is though, 10, 10 and a quarter or whatever it was, that's not that heavy. Uh, let's get the calipers out. Well, it's pretty damn thin, I'll tell you that right now, guys. And it's sharp as it's sharp as hell. So that's fifty. So that's coming in. Definitely can get more. So that's like fifteen thou behind the edge. So this thing, I'm telling you, it's slicey as all hell. Let's see here. Get out the old... Good thing I got... I went in, around town and grabbed as many of those phone books as I could. This is how you really can test an edge to see if it's sharp. If the edge is not sharp, this phone book paper will give it trouble. No question. Not that these are meant to be like slicers or something like that, but just to demonstrate how sharp this thing, like I was, I only have like two, two including this, Kershaw's. Uh, the other one I have is the Leak in 14C, and they did that well. Uh, I'm not a huge ZT or Kershaw guy, but... Uh, I'm not opposed to them either. They just don't usually have much in the way that I'm interested in. But uh, they did just recently put out an OTF that has kind of caught my eye. Even though I'm not an OTF person either. Uh, I have a couple. I like them. They're just not, you know, my bag really. And in Pennsylvania now, they're legal, so... You know, it's kind of cool. Uh, coming in a little over five, about five and seven eighths for, yeah, five and seven eighths for your total. Um, I actually have a sheath that fits this perfectly. So that is where I keep it. Uh, it wasn't meant for this, but it just happened that 
I wasn't using it anymore and I needed a place to stash this guy and it happened to fit in there perfectly. So that is how I carry this with uh, a leather slip uh, and it fits perfect. Not that I EDC this or anything, I'm just saying as far as storing it, uh, it's too big and awkward to put in my knife case since it's so full. So this actually goes in the bedroom and in a sheath, all my leather sheaths and knives that are like that are in the bedroom. Uh, but they do an excellent job with their balisongs. Uh, this, they're not like crazy expensive either. I think you can get the Luca as, or Lucha as little as like 80, 90 bucks, somewhere in, in that range, around a hundred say, I guess. So just to go over some internals, this does have KVT ball bearings in there, which makes this thing like glassy smooth. It's, it's actually really, there's not a lot of room under here guys, but uh, this thing is, is like buttery smooth. It's, it's ridiculous. Now I don't, like I said, I don't have a bunch of ballast songs. Uh, I don't know a bunch about them, but I do know quality and this is definitely a good quality item. Uh, the, these are part of Kershaw's American line. So you are getting, you know, uh, right there, you are getting, you know, an American made knife with a great steel. I mean, this thing would be a hell of a piercer or stabber. Uh, you get a lot of reach with this thing. So they do classify it as a tactical knife or that's one of its classifications is a tactical knife. Uh, so, and I think if you could get it out this thing would be one hell of a defensive tool in the right situation. But uh, you have very well done hardware here. It's like blackened, uh, very well done. Everything is nice and smooth and chamfered over. There's no, uh, on the handles here, there's no rough edges. Nothing that will snag you or nick you. Uh, and I just think it looks awesome. Uh, you know, you got this kind of, almost kind of reminds me of like a crown almost. But uh, this thing, I'm going to keep getting it out. Sometimes I stay away from it just because I suck so bad at flipping them out. But, uh, you know, when I first got it... Phew, I think I cut myself the very first time messing with it. Uh, and then it became mine forever. Uh, but, you know, just something cool to f go around the house, flipping your knife around with your kids running around, your dog running around. You know, something safe and fun to do for you. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you never had one of these and you do get one, just be careful <laughs> because they can slip out of your hand, flip out of your hand, and they're very sharp. Maybe get one that is like a trainer. I wasn't going to waste the money on a trainer, so I just went for, I went all out. That way I could really cut myself if I wanted to. But uh, there is just a quick little look-see of, this is just the basic lucha the basic kershaw lucha uh very well done though in my opinion and i you know kershaw is some some a company that i'm going to be looking into getting some of their stuff this year in 2023 uh it seems like they are trying to make a run at making some good knives american made knives uh Hopefully ZT follows suit because uh, they just neither of them have really put anything out over the last couple years that's been anything of interest to me. So 
here's to hope hoping they uh, change that. And it looks like from SHOT Show, they do have some cool, interesting stuff coming out. So we shall see. But uh, if you stayed through the whole review, thank you guys. Or overview, first impressions. Uh, I thank you. Give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And leave me a comment down below. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Love to have you. Thanks, guys. Have a good night, and I will catch you later.